In a prior video, which now appears here, you could have learned to play 14 riffs on your guitar with only one finger on one string. With this video, we're going to take it a step further. And we're going to play seven riffs with two fingers on two strings. And right now you're watching part one. Playing the guitar should be fun. And regardless of level, you should start with songs or riffs that inspired you to play guitar. In this video, I hope that I'm going to make this possible for you. If you like Aerosmith, Nirvana, Eric Clapton, ECDC, Ram Jam or The Beatles. Tabs accompanying this video can be downloaded from my website or be downloaded from my Patreon page. These are my new Patreons this month and they make sure I can buy new picks. We will now head to the riffs. First I will play the riff in full tempo, after I will explain the riff and finally we can play the riff together at a slower tempo. Rock and roll couldn't make the band famous and to stay with the label, the band needed success. A ballad which Steve Tyler composed on the piano was re-released and brought what the band needed. Success. Dream On by Aerosmith. For this riff you have to use two strings, the E string and the B string. And you have to push the third fret of the thin E string. And after you have to play the open B string. It sounds like this. And then you have to slide your finger one fret back and play the same strings and rhythm. And then you have to slide your finger up again. And then to the second fret again. So those first two bars in a row, three and four and... and once again the third fret and to the second fret and then back to the third fret again and then we have to play the fifth fret on the thin E string. So third fret to the fifth fret and then we slide to the seventh fret. So the 7th fret on the thin E string, open B and 7, open B and then you have to play those two strings together. So this bar. So the last two bars from the 3rd fret to the 5th fret to the 7th fret and then you have to play those two strings together. Now we're going to play this on a slower tempo. When a friend of Kurt Cobain wrote, Kurt smells like teen spirit on the wall, Kurt thought about anarchy, rebellion and revolution. Kurt only realized a few years after the single was released, that a friend was referring to the Deodorant brand that Kurt's girlfriend used. I already made a tutorial of the chorus in the one string riff video and now we continue with the verse and pre-chorus of Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana. With this riff you don't start on the first beat. So if I count 1, 2, 3, 
four, one, boom, king. So you start on the second beat with the first fret on the B string. And after you have to play the first fret on the E string. And the best way to do this is to put your index finger on the B string and to put your middle finger on the E string. And it goes like this, three, four, one, B, E, four, one, two, three, four, one. And you have to repeat this for several times and let the strings ring until you pick the notes again. And for the next part you can leave your fingers on the first fret, but you have to play another rhythm. So first you have to play the B string two times and then you have to play the E string one time. One and two. And you have to repeat this rhythm several times. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And now we're going to play this on a slower tempo. The riff and lyrics of the song are based on a song by Muddy Waters, Manish Boy. And this intro riff does well in movie parts where the villain is introduced, Bad to the Bone, by George Thorogood and the Destroyers. In this riff we have to play triads, so in every beat are three notes, like ta 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 So you get first a pickup bar, one, two, three. First you have to play the third fret on the thick E string two times. And after you have to play the third fret on the A string. And there are two ways to do this. You could push the string with another finger like your middle finger or your index finger or you can drop your ring finger across the two strings or so choose what feels good for you so three three and three on the a string three again on the thick e string and then the first fret on the a string and you have to play this with your index finger and if you like you can let go your ring finger so and after you have to play the third fret on the thick E string again. So, two, three, repeat, repeat. And you have to play this riff for four times. And after you go to the second part and you just have to leave out the first two notes. So the start on the third fret of the A string. One, two, three. Once again, or like this. And now we're going to play this on a slower tempo. Mm -hmm. 
This riff started as a bass riff, which Jack Bruce wrote after a concert of Jimi Hendrix. So Eric Clapton called this riff a dedication to Jimi. Ginger Baker's drum pattern made the groove complete. Listen closely and you will hear that the drum rhythm is exactly the other way around as it usually is in standard rock music. Eric Clapton invented the riff of the chorus and Cream's Sunshine of Your Love was born. You have to start on the 7th fret of the G string with your ring finger. And you have to pick it twice. And after you play the 5th fret of the G string with your index finger. And then you have to go back to the 7th fret. So it sounds like this. And after you mute the string. Because we're going one string up to the 7th fret of the D string. And then you have to slide your ring finger down to the 6th fret and to the 5th fret. But this note is off beat 3 and 4 and 1 and 1 more time 3 and 4 and 1 and so from the start up to this point 3 and 4 and 3 and 4 and 1 and and between those notes with your ring finger you can make a stop so the notes sound short. 7 stop, 6 stop, 5 stop. To make this stop you have to pick the string and then pull your finger off but not too much so your finger keeps contact with the string. And after you play the open string and after you play the third fret and then the open string again. So the last part one more time. So the whole riff sounds like this. And one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And now we're going to play this on a slower tempo. The riff is on the first track of the album Back in Black. And this album was the first album featuring Brian Johnson after the tragic death of Bon Scott. Some fans didn't appreciate the relaunch, but Back in Black became the band's best selling album. The ringing bell in the start of the song is a tribute to Bon Scott, Hell's Bells by ECDC. It is possible to play this riff with only one finger and you start to play the open A string. And after you play the second fret of the D string. And after you have to play an open A string again and then an open D string. So open two, open, open, repeat. And then you have to play the open A string again and after the third fret of the A string and after an open A string again. So from the start and after you have to play an open D string and after an open A string again. So the first two bars without the open A string at the end sounds like this, four and repeat. The start of the next part is the same as the first part, but we have to displace the accent of the first beat. Two, three, four, open.
And this is the part where it becomes different. So one more time. Three, four, open. And then you have to play the third fret, the second fret and the open string in a row. And the open A string is also the start of the riff again. And that's why the open A string is in bracket. So the whole riff, two, three, four, open, two, open, 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 three, open, 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 two, open, 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 three, open, open, three, two, open, two, open, 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 three, open, 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 two, open, 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 three, open, open, three, two, open. And now we're going to play this on a slower tempo. A very well-known song and many probably didn't know it was a cover. This song goes way back and turns out to be a work song that used to be sung by slaves on the fields. This song isn't about a lady, this song is about a bottle of whiskey. Black Betty by Ram Jam. First you have to play the 5th fret on the thick E string and after you have to play the 7th fret. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. And after you have to play the exact same notes but you have to go to the 5th fret on the A string. The easiest way to play this is to play the 5th fret with your index finger and the 7th fret with your ring finger. So you only have to hop one string lower with your index finger. So it goes like this. So this part without the 5th fret on the A string at the end. 3, 4, 5, 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 5, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we'll head to the next part and we start on the 5th fret. And then we have to pick the 7th fret twice. So it sounds like this. 5, 7, 7. And repeat 5, 7, 7. And then you have to play the 5th fret on the A string, then the 7th fret, and then the 5th fret again. So it sounds like this. Repeat. And 5, 7, 5. And repeat. 5, 7, 5. So this part in a row sounds like this. And after you have to repeat this for 4 times. So it sounds like this. Three. Four, five, seven, seven, five, seven, five, 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 five. And then we'll head to the last part and we start with the seventh fret on the thick E string. So we play seven, 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 seven. Let's play it again. Three, four, and seven, 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 seven. After you have to play the seventh fret on the A string. So this whole part sounds like this. And as you can see in the taps, you have to repeat this for three times, and then you go to the seventh fret of the thick E string, and then you have to play the fifth fret on the A string. And then you have to play the 7th fret of the thick E string again. So the last two bars sounds like this. 3, 4 and 7. 5 and 7. 3. So this whole part when we start from the 7th fret of the thick E string. 3, 4 and 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7
seven, 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 and to the fifth fret, and the seventh fret, three, four. And now we're going to play this on a slower tempo. This song has never been a hit, but many people still know this song. Maybe because it's on the famous album Abbey Road? This song is written by George Harrison in the garden of Eric Clapton. And this song is about nothing, except the nice feeling you can get from sitting in the sun. Here comes the song by the Beatles. In the intro I told you that you can play all the riff with only two fingers, but it's nicer to play it with three fingers and use your pinky for the tenth fret. So you can do this and let all the strings ring. But like I told you, I'm going to explain this riff with only your ring finger and index finger. So place your ring finger on the tenth fret of the B string. And then play the ninth fret of the thin E string with your index finger. So you get... And then the 10th fret again. So from the start, repeat 10, 9, 10. And then you have to play the 7th fret on the thin E string with your index finger and after the 9th fret with your ring finger. So from the start it sounds like this. And after you have to play the 10th fret of the B string again. So. And after you have to play the 9th fret on the thin E string. And after the 7th fret. And then you have to slide up to the 10th fret of the B string. Or use the pinky. And then you have to play the 7th fret of the B string. So this bar. And repeat and. And then you have to play the 10th fret again. And then the 7th fret on the E string. And then the 10th fret on the B string twice. So this bar and repeat and so from the start up to this point three four and then you have to play the ninth fret on the B string and then the seventh fret and then the 9th fret again, and then the 10th fret. So this bar, repeat, and to complete this bar you have to play the 7th fret on the E string. So from the start up to this point, Then the next part. The start of this part is the same as the first part. From this point the riff becomes different. You have to play the 9th fret on the E string and after the 7th fret. And then you have to play the 10th fret on the B string and then the 9th fret. So on the E string the 9th fret, then the 7th fret, then on the B string the 10th fret and the 9th fret. So repeat, 9, 7, 10, 9. So once again. So this whole part sounds like this and uh, Two, three, four. 
And now we're going to play this on a slower tempo. Now you know how to play seven riffs on two strings with two fingers. And I made a part two. So check out part two and hopefully I see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.